nine-year-old Milton doesn't know if he's an orphan. He and his sister fled their home when fighters attacked their village in the Cabo Delgado region of northern Mozambique. His mother was beheaded. His father is still missing. Milton and his sister Selena arrived at this camp as unaccompanied children before being reunited with their grandmother. Now she takes care of them in a place far from home. My grandson was crying for two days and I held him. Me and my neighbor told him to stop crying. In the end, he stopped crying. Sometimes he spends time thinking about his parents because he's old enough to understand what's happened. Children like Milton and Selena survived the violence physically unscathed, but are left with psychological wounds that need attention. He has mental health problems because he cannot see his mother. He can only see me. I've been here for seven months and I'm suffering because me and the children aren't eating enough. I don't have any plates. I receive one bucket, but I don't have food or clothes and I sleep on the ground. I received a plastic sheet, but I didn't get a tent. Aid workers are trying to help children like Milton and Selena adjust to life after the violence they've experienced. Smiles and laughs are big victories, but the hurdles of healing are relentless. In Cabo Delgado, we have suffered many crises, including cyclones. Many houses have been destroyed. Many children have experienced shock because they have no home to sleep in. In addition to this, there's been COVID-19. It's had a negative impact on many children as well. Many children have left school because of the pandemic, and the conflict has added a negative impact on many families. Mozambique's government has been fighting ISIL-linked armed groups in Cabo Delgado since 2017. The fighters say they want to set up an Islamic state. Save the Children says some parents run away with mental health issues of their own. Others are separated from their families, and the rest are usually killed. Many children told us they have seen people murdered and killed. They said when this happened, their parents ran in different directions and that even they were afraid and they didn't follow their mothers and ran a different way. The children who weren't able to escape face abduction and rape. At least 51 children, most of them girls, have been abducted in the past 12 months. Caseworkers check on these children to help in whatever ways they can. And at just nine years old, Milton is the only man in this tented house with burdens far too heavy to carry on his own. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.